Hey guys, so we are back from Florida and today is Monday. We just got back last night about 9.30ish and I have a lot of laundry and cleaning up to do. So I like to just drop the luggage off in our laundry room, that way I can get started on laundry as soon as possible and it's out of the way for the rest of the house. So a little bit of background, we were in Florida on a nine day trip to Disney. There are three of us, my husband, James, myself, and our five year old son, Rex. And I just want you to try to guess how many loads of laundry I have to do for the three of us for those nine days. All right, so the first load is done washing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the dryer so I can get started with the second load. Also, don't separate clothes, um, especially when I have this much laundry to do. Anything that can fit in the washer is just getting thrown in there. love using the downy scent boosters every time I wash a load of laundry. It really does help your clothes and laundry smell fresh and keep that fresh smell longer than just your regular detergent. So since this load had a lot of Rex's clothes in it, I'm using the Drift Laundry Detergent. Rex has eczema and very sensitive skin, so we have tried a few things out and this drift detergent really helps to not irritate his skin. So since that laundry is going, I'm gonna go ahead and empty out some clean clothes that were in the hamper already. So the laundry that I just put out on the bed, that is all laundry that was already done before we even left for vacation. I just hadn't put it up yet. So I need to finish putting those away. I still have another load of laundry I need to put away in Rex's room. I have one load of laundry in a dryer, one load of laundry in the washer, and at least one other load that I need to wash. So I'm very far behind and I doubt I'll get caught up today, but it will be amazing if I do. So the way I have Rex's clothes organized, I have long sleeve shirts and shorts in the closet because they're not used as often as t-shirts and pants. His t-shirts and his pants are in a dresser that's in his main room area that he can easily get to.
So in our house, we have two tall hampers and one literal laundry basket. Um, since I was using this hamper, Rex had just been throwing his clothes in his closet. So I'm just getting them out and putting them back into his hamper where they go and then putting that back into his closet. So I didn't finish putting the clothes away that I was getting out in our bedroom because I knew there were more clothes to put away and I just didn't want to keep repeating myself. I just wanted to make one big stack. This bag is actually for of the clothes that we did not use on vacation. We put them in this bag so we didn't waste washing them again because they were fine to just be hung up again. So it's taken about four trips back and forth to the closet, but I finally have all of those clothes put away. Hey guys, so it is day two of trying to catch up on the laundry. Um, last night, after I had already started getting ready for bed, I went ahead and got clothes out of the dryer so that I can move clothes into the dryer. So I got just a few things folded last night. So I need to finish folding that load. I need to fold the load that's in the dryer now. And Here's another load I need to wash. Okay, so I have another load in the washer now. The load that's in the dryer, I went ahead and I turned it on to just help get those wrinkles out. Um, so hopefully by the time I'm done folding the clothes, I'm folding, those will be ready for me to fold. So it's a little hard to get caught up on laundry because I work full time and Rex has a baseball game tonight. So we've been working and cleaning and just so busy, but if I get it caught up today, I'll be in a much better place for the rest of the week. Okay, so I have one load of laundry folded on the couch. I'm not going to put it away yet because I have another load I need to get out of the dryer. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and then I'll put both loads away. I've got one last load that's in the washer now. I'm gonna move that over to the dryer and if everything goes as planned, I'll put it away before we go to bed tonight and all the laundry will be cut. So I'm going to fold as much of the laundry as I can. We are currently getting ready to leave for Rex's baseball game. So I am highly doubtful that I'm going to get all of this folded before we leave or before we go to bed.
Hey guys, so it's day three of catching up on laundry. Um, last night I got through a lot of laundry folding, but then we had to stop and go to the baseball game. There's so. a load of Rex's clothes to be put away. I have at least probably two loads in here of our clothes folded and on hangers ready to be put away. So whenever I edit this, I'll have to count up how many loads of laundry I did because I've lost count. Um, I think I've washed at least four loads. I've put away at least six loads. It's the most laundry I've ever done in my life, but that's just what happens when you come back from a long vacation. So now I'm getting all of the clothes that I have folded in the living room and getting it out of the hamper and out on the bed so I can put it away in the bedroom. Before I put all of this away, I'm gonna go into the living room and finish folding the rest of the laundry. All right, so I'm almost all done. I have the clothes here to put away and then a load of Rex's clothes to put away and that should be it. So as you saw, I do fold Rex's clothes. Um, just somehow they end up unfolded. I'm not sure if that's just because he does something with them or because he has really way too many for his drawer space. So they end up becoming very unorganized. completely caught up with laundry now. It took three days and I have no loads in the dryer, no loads in the washer, and no full loads in the laundry hamper. So I hope this gave you tons of motivation to get your laundry caught up. Please be sure that you are subscribed, comment down below, and hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.